Hello friends, welcome to this video. In this video, we will be defining what is called as a characteristic polynomial and we will see some example of the characteristic polynomial. Okay, so let's see the definition. Definition is for an n cross n matrix A, the characteristic polynomial of A is denoted by if it represents the matrix A, since it is related to matrix A, we will denote it by since it is a polynomial P we hear a and we consider the variable as lambda so this is nothing but the notation of characteristic polynomial of a having the variable lambda okay okay and it is defined as in the previous introduction video i have already told you let us just write it in detail it is defined as determinant of a minus lambda i n okay or it could be defined as determinant of lambda i n minus a that is nothing but interchanging this two okay uh, definitely you guys might think why there is no unique definition okay so the answer is really simple since both of them actually represent the same polynomial both of them represent the same polynomial but the change in the sign might occur so a note for you all will be if my n over here which we consider n if that n is an even number then my determinant of a minus lambda i n will be same as my determinant of lambda i n minus a okay whenever the n is odd number then my determinant of a minus lambda i n is equal to minus of determinant of lambda i n minus a still we know when n is odd these two things are actually distinct right this and this are distinct because there is change in the sign but we are interested in roots of this polynomial hence either of the definition will give us the same roots okay so either of the way you can use we will prefer this way this looks much better right so what is the definition of a characteristic polynomial a characteristic polynomial is nothing but determinant of a minus lambda i n correct in the last video we have seen one example today also we will see some example one note for the student is we can have n cross n means we have a square matrix then only we can talk about the characteristic polynomial for a non-square matrix the characteristic polynomial is not defined okay so this is nothing but the definition this is nothing but the exercise for all of you. You guys will prove when n is an even number, these two are same and n is an odd number. Thus, there is a change in the sign. Okay? This is just by the property of the determinant. I think you guys will be able to do. If not, please write in the comment box. Okay. In the next video, we'll be discussing this. Let me just see the next one. Example 1. Find the characteristic polynomial of these matrix. Okay. So, my a is nothing but 3, 5, 4, 2. What is the characteristic polynomial? Characteristic polynomial of a with the variable lambda is nothing but determinant of a minus lambda i2. Correct? So, let me just form a minus lambda i2. This is same as what? This is same as 3, 5, 4, 2 minus lambda times 1, 0, 0, 1. Correct. This is same as what? This is same as 3 minus lambda, then 5 over here, 4 over here, and 2 minus lambda. What is we what we want is the determinant of this, right? So my characteristic polynomial of A with the variable lambda is same as determinant of this of the product of these two. That is 3 minus lambda times 2 minus lambda minus of 5 fours are 20. That is same as what? That is same as 6. Uh, that will give me minus 5 lambda plus lambda square minus 20. So that is same as what? That is same as lambda square. Okay. That is same as lambda square. Uh, the next thing is minus 5 lambda. The next thing is minus 14. So this is nothing but the characteristic polynomial. Okay. So, this is nothing but the first example. In unit 1, we are just interested in the characteristic polynomial. Hence, we are restricting ourselves to this much. In the next unit, next two units, 
we will go further to this but for now this is enough to just find out the characteristic polynomials okay let's see the next two examples those are nothing but the pictures from my notes i will just read those and i request student to note down the question pause the video and try to solve by themselves at the end see the answer is correct or not okay so the question is find the characteristic polynomial of a linear transformation t from p3x to p3x means it is what these are nothing but polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3 to the same uh, vector space defined it by my map is defined it by x times derivative of f of x also i have given an order ba basis 1x x square and x cube so from this information you are supposed to find out the matrix representation for that we will need a map of this on its basis right so i need t of 1 i need t of x i need t of x square i need t of x cube okay so i have found those from that i found that matrix i know the matrix representation then by the definition i know the characteristic polynomial of t with respect to the variable lambda is nothing but determinant of matrix minus t i3 okay now solving this determinant is really trivial right it is nothing but the product of the diagonal entries so this is nothing but the product of diagonal entries after simplifying you get this as the answer guys please check this solution if there is any error uh, which is made by me while typing just let me know in the comment box otherwise you can try this okay really simple uh, this finding out determinant i think you guys can do it really easy in the ty level so let me know if you are getting the correct answer or not okay so let's see the another example similar type i have just given you the solution let me just read it out so i have considered a matrix a that is 1 minus 1 3 minus 2 1 1 0 1 minus 1 the characteristic polynomial is of a is nothing but p a of lambda that is equal to determinant of a minus lambda I. that is nothing but determinant of a minus lambda i then finding out determinant of this so i have went by this correct you go by this usual method is to go by this i go by this because over here i found zero so this times determinant of this part uh, plus two times determinant of this two right so after simplifying i'm getting this as my answer right so this is nothing but the third example right example three for us example number three so i request student to try to do those example by theirself in the next video i'll be giving you the tricks Definitely you don't want to waste your time, especially this kind of question has been asked in the competitive exams uh, to find out the eigenvalues and eigenvector characteristic polynomial. There are many tricks. In the next video, we'll be seeing how to find out two cross two matrices eigenval eigen uh, polynomial. I will say the characteristic polynomial for two cross two matrices and three cross three matrices means by using this you can directly come to the answer like this you don't need to go through all these steps by using this you can directly come to this there is tricks for two cross two and three cross three matrices which we'll see in the next video okay after that i will give an exercise question and once i complete the unit i will public my notes to all of the student on my side but for now i think it's enough so thank you so much guys for watching this video and Hope you have subscribed to the channel. If not, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friend and like the video. Okay. Thank you guys. Bye bye.